Well, some of you might know and some of you might not that the Junior 8 anniversary is coming up in some few days. And if you're a frequent Jumia shopper, you know what that means. So in this video, I'm going to show you from scratch how you can be able to start using the Jumia Affiliates program so that you too can benefit from this 8th anniversary that is coming. And not just for the 8th anniversary, but any other Jumia sales period that might be coming after. So if that sounds like something you want to know, let's go ahead and hop into the video right now. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you also want to be part of the conversation. Welcome back everyone. And if you are just meeting for the first time, my name is Harris Kari. And as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about how you can also begin to earn commission with the Jumia Affiliate Program. Previously, I made a video about five ways on how you can start earning money working with Jumia. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it right up here. And this video is going to be only about the Jumia Affiliates Program. But without wasting much of your time, let's get into this. I'm going to be showing you everything on my computer. So I'm going to be sharing the screen with you so we can walk through the whole steps from beginning to end and we're starting right now okay guys so welcome back to my computer and if you're new here welcome to my computer so before we begin this tutorial I just want to say that we are going to be using three different websites in this tutorial and uh, I always just like opening all websites that I'm gonna be using in new tabs so we don't so we won't have to like you know go ahead and type all those kind of things while we're in this tutorial that maybe the network might be bad you know <laughs> so let's just go ahead now um, the three websites we're gonna be using are the Jumia websites like that's the main Jumia homepage website for Nigeria then the Jumia affiliates website and a link shortening website and in this tutorial, we're going to be using Bitly, which is kind of my best anyway. So let's go ahead and just open the first website. Let's say Jumia, yeah, dot com dot ng. Open. So you can just you know you can just uh, maybe Control T. That's the new tab. So you can just go ahead and type affiliates. Jumia dot com. As you can see here, you can add the slash welcome. You can actually leave it without the welcome but anyway let's just go ahead and remove the welcome and just click enter then Control t again a new tab and we will type bitly.com that is b-i-t-l-y.com and click enter but anyway let's go back to the jimmy affiliates website because that is what we're going to be talking about in this video so if you've never registered on this thing you can go ahead and click on register and it will take you directly to the login page so the registration page sorry so you can go ahead and type in your first name your last name email mobile phone number country you know we're in nigeria anyway so when it comes to website here it might ask you to type in your website and um, maybe i think it's kind of um required now but before it, you didn't really need to have any website but anyway even if they ask you for a website if you don't have a website you can go ahead and copy your link maybe if you have a youtube channel or something you can go ahead and copy your youtube channel link then you can just come and paste it right here or maybe if you don't have a youtube channel you can go ahead and copy maybe your instagram profile link any kind of social media account your facebook profile link instagram linkedin whichever you're using just come and paste it right here then once you're done you can just click on register so after you click on register they will send you an email to let you know that your registration will be processed within one to three business days so you will wait for them you know just for a bit it's not that long anyway they can even respond to you like maybe the following day or maybe within this day anyway i already have an account so i'll just click on login so if you already have an account or maybe they responded to your email they sent you back an email with the logins and everything so you can just go ahead and type in everything here and just click on sign in so now we're in the Jumia Affiliates dashboard right here. So this is my dashboard and I'm going to be showing you everything you can do with this platform right here. So anyway, these are the tabs that you would be using in your affiliate marketing with Jumia. So instead of starting from the top to the bottom, we're actually going to be doing from the bottom up, you know, start up from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start from here and we're going all the way up. So let's start from support so in support here you would see faqs that's uh, frequently asked questions and uh, commission models let's start with faqs 
So, you know, any question you might want to ask about the Jumia affiliates and stuff like that, you can go ahead and comment to the FAQs and you might have your answer. But anyway, if you don't have your answer here, you can always reach out to me in the comment section and I would answer your question based on what I know too. So the commission model shows you how much you would be able to earn from each and every category of products that you are advertising. So these are the categories you see. Uh, appliances automotives and motorcycles beauty and perfumes so you see the percentages here so for example you sell anything for appliances right here you get three percent of that sale if you sell anything around the automotive and motorcycles you get three percent beauty and perfumes you get seven percent for each sale you get seven percent commission for having someone purchase something around the beauty and perfume category from your link so let's go down and see all the percentages here but anyway you can just go through the percentages i think the highest percentage would be um well so far i can say this is the highest that i can see here that's 12 percent from boys clothing so anyway you can just go ahead and check whichever category you advertise or maybe you talk about in itself and everything like that so let's go to the payment tab right here so the payment information is your own personal information you add the method that you want to be paid with but i think for nigeria is only the bank transfer method so anyway just go ahead and type in your account name account number bank name you know branch i just put zero zero because it's, it was asking in numbers and stuff like that but i don't have anything to say so the swift code if you're using gt bank this is the code right here gtbingla this is a swift code for gt bank head office that's if i think if you're using gt bank you can, you can actually use the head office you know i think that it doesn't make any difference so you can just go ahead and type in this in your swift code section and i also add this to my description so you can go ahead and check it right there it's gtbingla so once you're done with this just go ahead and save your information right here the the reason i actually came to the payment section first before i even showed you how to advertise is if you don't set your payment method then even if you advertise there's no way they would be able to pay you so <laughs> you know like the payment is the reason why you're actually doing the affiliate marketing then you can go to your payment history and you would see all the commission the amount the offer and everything here so now we're done with the payment section let's go to the reporting section so we just click on reporting and once it's opened you would see three sections here this is daily summary conversions and sub id so let's start with daily summary once you click on daily summary right here it shows you all the records of the clicks the unique clicks the pending commissions you just click and choose the country that you are in and you know where nigeria is already nigeria here so you can now put your dates and everything like this is the you want to if you want to like you know find out what happened from so 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 date to another date so you just go ahead and click this add the date you want to add let's say maybe from first june to first july so i'll just click on apply and it will show me everything all my records like from the clicks that i had from the first of june to the unique clicks and next we're going to the conversions so when you click on conversions now this is also another way you can track your sales or should I say your affiliate links sales or something like that. So once you come to the conversions here, you can also do the same thing, add your country, your dates, you know, the, just the range that you will be, you want to be looking at. This is somehow, um, or should I say diluted or filtered. Anyway, it, it doesn't have all those clicks, unique clicks, you know, all those pending conversions and stuff like that. This is just a list of your conversions. Like these are the people that have already gone ahead to buy something from Jumia using your link. It shows you the amounts that those people have spent using your link to buy something on Jumia, but it doesn't show you who that person is. Like for this amount spent on Jumia using my affiliate link, this is what I earned from that. So this person spent 17,000 Naira 581 and 40 Kobo, and I actually earned 1,253 Naira and 95 Kobo from that sale so you know this is just from sharing links so how easy could that be for you so this is still pending anyway i'm still waiting for jumia to finish all their processing and stuff like that and then it will show approved once they're done and i would receive the payment in my bank account so anyway you can just go through everything here let's go down to the sub id so now we're in the sub id right here 
So swap ID is actually like a tracking link that you add to your affiliate links in order to separate the kind of sales that you want to, you know, kind of track. So I think I have multiple track IDs here, but anyway, let me just move the date. I think maybe within this date, it was just this one that sold. So if I adjust the dates and click on apply, it would refresh and show me my other sub IDs that I have. So you see, I have like three different IDs here that got conversion from the 1st of June to the 1st of July. So anyway, when you don't want to go through like checking through the whole list of maybe your whole monthly sales and stuff like that, you know, like the way I showed you earlier. So you can just go ahead and add a track ID link. I'll show you how to add a track ID link in a bit. So you'll be able to track your conversions without having to go through all of the clicks. So now we're done with the reporting section right here. Now let's move to advertising. So when it comes to advertising, this is actually like the main section of the platform because this is where you get the stuff that you advertise. You know, whether if it's links, maybe banners, maybe like HTML codes and stuff like that. So first of all, let's start with the link for mobile apps. So you see right here, they tell you the link for mobile apps you have to share with your audience to get commission for any order done through it. So this is what we do right here. You click on your country it now gives you the option to pick a target but for the jumia app actually it's just the home page so we just click on jumia app home page and so now we have a link here so this is the link that you would use to advertise now when someone clicks on this link it will take them directly to where they will be able to download the app and once they download the app and make a purchase no matter what they buy within the next seven days you would earn commission for everything that they buy within that seven days so just go ahead and copy that link and you paste it maybe in your social media and you see the link is looking somehow you know it's kind of scattered and maybe it's looking somehow shady so that's where the link shortening website comes in so let's move up to bitly right here that I opened in the next tab so we click on bitly so as I said bitly is a link shortening website you just come here and paste your link and it shortens it for you so you'll be able to use that unique link that you have to advertise with other people so we just come here and paste this right here you see this is the link we copied from jumia so let's just go ahead and click on shorten right here so once you click on shorten this it will show you like this is the new link it created for you this is your old link and this is your new link so you can just copy the link right here or maybe you click on this one anyone you like just copy so that link will be what you advertise on your social media whether you use the free ads method or maybe the paid ads method but anyway whichever you use this is the link that you would use to advertise and if you have no idea what I'm talking about I actually made a video where I talked about how to advertise your affiliate links and you can go ahead and check it right up here in my cards and I would also link it in my description so you can go ahead and watch that video after watching this video so you know how to advertise your affiliate links here on Jumia too. So now let's go back to the Jumia Affiliates website. So that's all for the link for mobile apps. So next one is the banner generator. Let's click on the banner generator and go in right here. So you also select your country right here. When you click on your country, it will show you different banners down here, different pictures, you know, of Jumia products and Jumia services and stuff like that. So whichever category you advertise, you know, I showed you the categories in the commission model. So you just go ahead and click on anyone. So let me just go ahead and click on this up to 30% off. So once you come to the banner generator section here, it will show you different sizes of pictures that you can create. So this is the 160 by 600. This is actually like all those, you know, side banners that you see on websites. So let's try a different size right here. Just click on this 300 by 50. So this one you see, it's also like all those website ads you see maybe in between contents, maybe in between blogs that you're reading, you see these kind of small ad banners that just appear for you. You know, you can just go ahead and check different sizes. You see this one 1080 by 1080. So it's kind of a square size anyway. So you just click on any one of them that you want to advertise. So let me just go with the square one right here, the 1080 by 1080. So we just scroll down right here. You would see a link here that shows you something jumia.com slash banner and stuff like that. And you see download here. So once you click on download, you download this picture to your system or maybe your phone, whichever you're using. Then this is your ad affiliate link. So you can just click on copy right here and you can go to bit.ly as we did earlier. As I said, go ahead and check the video in my description and also in the card. So you can be able to know how to advertise your links. And the third one is the banner code. 
that you can use to promote on your website well this one you won't use the bitly to shorten this one this is just a html code that you copy and you add it to your website those with websites know that you know you can add custom html links so this is what you copy and you add it to your website so now as we talked about earlier about the sub id you use to track your link this is where you can add the sub id right here so you just click on the sub id and maybe let's say let me add hk when i add hk you see this and just refresh if you didn't notice them just try maybe like deleting the k It'll refresh again you see so i'll add the k again it refresh so now if you notice you would see the hk appearing here in my ad link so that is what you use to track your link which would be able to help you even narrow your tracking and stuff like that but anyway you can just go ahead and do whatever you want to do with the tracking section right here so let's go to the next one which is the link builder so when it comes to link builder you remember i said we we're going to be using the jumia website itself so let's go ahead and click on our country here first jumia nigeria so it shows us you know jumia url page the sub id again channel tracking you know so this section right here requires you to paste a jumia link like a jumia product link you go to the jumia website now let's go to the website and i'll show you what i'm talking about you go to the website and maybe you go through what you want to sell uh, maybe you sell like let's say shoes women's shoes for example so you just click on this shoe right here women lightweight shoes so let's go ahead and click on this right here since it, since that's the one we saw at first so once you come to this page right here you see this is the product it's 2500 naira to 3500 naira maybe depending on different sizes i think so let's see okay yeah you see this is 35 and it's 25 this is 36 and it's 32 so okay anyway you just come up here to the link here this link like at the top of your browser link to this page so you just click on copy you copy this link then you go back to the jumia affiliates website and you paste that link in this jumia url page so once you paste that link here jumia would automatically generate another link for you here and this is our affiliate link for that product that we copied the link from jumia this is the jumia page link that you copied and this is your jumia affiliates link that you would use so just to differentiate, the normal Jumia page URL is www.jumia.com.ng slash something something here. So, but your affiliate link always starts with c.jumia.io slash something something, you know, other things come up after. So anyway, just go ahead and copy the URL and you can go to Bitly as we did earlier. So I would advise you to just copy the link and just start advertising to other people you know like just post it on your facebook your instagram stuff like that so you see that kind of advertising is like to a specific target like you decided to advertise this certain product to those certain people because you know they might be interested in them but anyway if you need help with all these kind of advertising your link you can go ahead and check in my description again as i said earlier you can watch the video that i talked about how to advertise your affiliate links so that might help you to be able to advertise these affiliate links that i'm showing you right here so the last tab we're going to be checking is the performance tab so the performance tab is where it shows you all your efforts and what all the work you've been putting in and it shows you everything in a graphical representation so you can go ahead and make use of this performance tab on your jumia affiliates journey anytime you can just come in here and just see how well you're doing with the jumia affiliates and everything here and now that is almost very much everything about the jumia affiliates program well, even though the Jumia anniversary might be ending very soon, but you can still use this method even after the Jumia anniversary. Continue advertising your links with or without the Jumia anniversary or maybe any sales or something like that because people still buy even though if it's not during all those discounts. But you know, the thing is you just need to like learn how to take advantage of all those discounts and sales periods because those are the times that most people like more than the normal people that actually shop on jumia come in to buy stuff because those things are now cheap so i hope this helps you anyway so just go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you think about it or maybe if there's anything that you might want me to change or something like that anyway just let me know in the comment section and we'll talk about it okay guys that will be all and i hope you've learned a lot from this video and also i hope you will take advantage of this before it's too late you know go ahead and start this go ahead and 
start practicing if you don't really understand everything in this video you can go ahead and let me know in the comment section i will try my best to explain as much as i can to you so question of the day what niche do you think best suits you or maybe best says something about you that you really love to advertise products around let me know in the comment section maybe there might be advice that i can share with you about advertising in that niche so whichever the case just let me know in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video or maybe learned something from this video go ahead and smash the like button and if you want to learn more and maybe just join the family you know maybe just enjoyed the video and you want to watch more of these kind of videos go ahead and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video peace